Hello and welcome back to Insta TV. You're watching Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. At the end of the previous week, oil prices rose by 1% as the sentiment in the oil market improved amid the OPEC Plus deal prolongation and resumption of negotiations between the US and China. Another trigger for a rally was the cartel's output report that showed a fall in the total production volume in June. According to Reuters, the petroleum exporting countries cut production by 170,000 barrels in a month. This figure hit the five-year low at 29.6 million barrels per day as the output in Iran and Venezuela decreased significantly due to the American sanctions. On Friday, Brent futures held above the level of $64 per barrel, recouping losses that were incurred after prolongation of the OPEC Plus deal last week. The new resistance level lies at $64.5 per barrel. Breaking it, the price may rise further to $66. Though the market sentiment is positive, such factors as the OPEC Plus deal extension and a cut in supplies from Iran and Venezuela raise concerns over the possible slowdown in the global economy. So macroeconomic reports from the developed countries are under the spotlight. Even slight deterioration of economic indicators affects the investor sentiment and puts oil prices under pressure. However, a possible de-escalation in the US-China trade conflict may soothe concerns to some extent. Overall, the risk of a decline in demand for energy maintains the bearish momentum in the oil market. What's more, the risk of a military clash between the United States and Iran in the Persian Gulf fuels concerns. The media have reported about provocative acts several times and most countries accuse Iran of backing it without firm proof. Tehran, in turn, denies involvement in these acts. If the conflict in the Gulf escalates, it may lead to a disruption of supplies from the region. Iraq and Kuwait have already announced plans to find alternative routes for oil shipping. In addition to the above-mentioned events, market participants will pay close attention to the inventories data from the United States. Today, in early deals, oil prices advanced. Thus, Brent futures with delivery in September appreciated by 0.12% to $64.31 per barrel. On Friday, the American currency strengthened against other majors as the U.S. non-farm payrolls report showed a faster-than-expected rise. Therefore, expectations of a rate cut by the Federal Reserve decreased, which resulted in a plunge in the U.S. stocks and risky assets. Meanwhile, the Russian ruble as well as other currencies of developing countries lost ground. At the same time, the OPEC report on production volume triggered a rally in oil prices and consequently provided support to the Russian ruble. At the same time, the rise was limited as investors continued to sell their ruble-denominated dividends and the demand for the Russian debt securities decreased. The American currency strengthened at the opening of the Moscow exchange while the ruble weakened. Five minutes after the opening, the dollar exchange rate averaged 63.9497 rubles. We keep close tabs on the market developments. Stay tuned.